Hey guys, welcome to another Team Fortress video, and today I'm going to be showing you a sniper guide uh, when defending on the same map. Uh, the reason I'm using the same map just so that I can show you more about the class rather than the different maps. So uh, eventually I might do map tutorials, but for now I'm keeping it based on classes. Um, as you can see, I'm using the Huntsman, which isn't a sniper rifle, obviously. It's a bow and arrow, and I think it really has its advantages, like just there. It's a lot quicker to get to full charge, um, and you, when you're the equivalent of scoped in, you don't, you know, lose sight of what's around you. You can still observe what's happening around you while drawing back your bow. So, um, there we go, just ran straight at the demo man there, which is why actually it moves on to another point that uh, the Huntsman also allows the Sniper to be a lot more involved in the battle because, you know, you can you can really get into the middle of it all and be a lot more likely to get a kill rather than standing at the very back. Um, there, shooting straight through the window. I'm quite proud of that shot. And... Um, I find that the travel time for the arrow, although it's slower than a sniper rifle bullet, it's actually a lot easier to get a kill in my opinion because you're, if you miss your target, it's traveling slow enough that it has the chance to kill another player further on. And uh, then I've chosen to have the Razorback as my secondary weapon, meaning um, it can absorb a spy's backstab. And not only does this make spies less of a threat, you know, you don't have to be checking around you for spies whenever you're sniping, but also it makes it a lot easier to switch between just two weapons instead of three. Um, because, you know, it's a lot simpler to know what your limitations are in terms of what weapon you should use. You know, you're either shooting with the bow and arrow or hitting someone with your kukri. And I just find that a lot easier. I think the simpler the better like the Demo Knight with his grenade launcher and sword. Uh, you know, because of the shield, I don't have to worry about a sticky bomb launcher or something like that. So, um, yeah, I, I quite like that aspect, just using two weapons. And, um, yeah, so here you can see me using the Huntsman to my advantage. You know, really getting into the middle of the battle. And... Uh, not having to worry about spies because of the Razorback. Um, and yeah, it's just a lot better for that kind of thing. I'm sorry I haven't been uploading in a while. I've been quite busy, but I'll try to upload more regularly in the future. And also the amount of arrows you get, I think it's quite quite useful. It's you know it's not too too um, low. So I don't find myself running out of ammo that easily. And hmm, what else is there really to say? Just checking around me. Kukri I find quite fun to use because it always gets random crits. It's just ridiculous. So it's quite fun in that sense. I think you'll see right here, there you go, crit, and I, I think, I, I'm not sure how many times in this video, but I can literally get, I don't know, five or six crits within uh, one game. Uh, here, Spy tries to go invisible, simply draw back the bow, shoot him in the head, very quick, very easy, and um, there you go, shooting someone in the foot, I think it's just a lot, I really like the Huntsman in terms of sniper weapons. I'm dominating four people, holy crap. This guy's quite proud that he's dominating four people. Um, yeah. He agrees. And, um, yeah, I just find it a lot easier. That's the other thing, actually. Um, shooting around corners is a lot easier with the Huntsman. I usually find myself drawing back, the, jumping around a corner while drawing back the bow and then releasing it. And, um, so then, even if you can't see your enemy, I think the Huntsman makes it easier to just shoot around the corner. You know, you can get up and close to a player like that. Uh, clearly a spy. I take a while to kill him, but I do think... There you go. Another random crit. And, um... 
Yeah, so this this is kind of showing how the Huntsman allows you to have a lot more um, sort of awareness of what's happening around you because, you know, you're not stuck looking down your scope. So anyway, thanks guys and I'll be uploading soon.